Since 1992, when he was first elected sheriff, people have been delighted, shocked, angered, and amused by Sheriff Joe Arpaio. Friday, I invited the sheriff to lunch. It had been a while since we sat down to talk. And I was told that he hadn't eaten Mexican food in years because he was afraid someone would spit in his food because of his hard line on illegal immigration. We met at Juan's Authentic Mexican Food at 16th Street in Thomas. The family that runs it told me that they don't support Sheriff Arpaio's stance on illegal immigration, but they kindly allowed us to dine there anyway. They told me, quote, we want to set an example for the sheriff that we open our doors and welcome everyone. From the moment he arrives, he starts in on why Fox 10 doesn't mention him as a front runner for John Kyle's Senate seat. You didn't even put me on your list, uh, on your little uh, Fox as one of the possible. You didn't about do that. that. Even before right. we get inside, people stop him. They all, they have, all have their, their green, green cards. cards. <laughs> it's a very good restaurant. Well, I'm not going to ask him. He hands out baseball cards with his picture. Okay, sure. How are we You're doing right? this? Where are we? There's a table over there. I love you, man. You do not eat a lot of Mexican food because you're afraid people are going to spit in your food. Is that true or false? False. Why am I here? Am I, uh, I worried about this here? I'm here. Am I eating Mexican food? Did I have this checked out? Look at it. Did you see that? Huh? When it comes here, my tamales, I'm going to give it to you. And see if you will eat the tamale. I will. Over chips and salsa, I get the Senate question out of the way. State Senate? Or the United States Senate? <laughs> I'm just waiting. I'm waiting, so you know, go John, ahead. We've been through this movie many times. Too many times. You always go against me every four years. And I've been right every time. <laughs> He's flirted with higher office, but the truth is, he's in a job he will never leave, willingly. Do you like what he's been up to? <laughs> <laughs> so you don't like what I do, do you? Hey, how about you guys? What? I don't like half of what he does. You don't like half of what he does? Can we go to Sun City? <laughs> <laughs> Our pile gets this all the time. People want to meet him, shake hands with him, take their picture with him, even if they detest him. He huh? doesn't like your policies. You don't like my policies? <laughs> huh? Who are you? You? Uh, uh, not really. I just. So what do you want a picture for? It? I don't care if they don't like it. You know what? If they all like me, it means I'm not doing a job. This man from Nicaragua couldn't wait to meet Arpaio. You support me? What are you really? shaking my hand for? I'm not going to ask you what I want to ask. So I have to be no. careful. But I'm <laughs> going to I'm going to say this. I'm going to say you are a citizen. You are a citizen. Oh, oh, you asked. Him. No, you said. No, no, no. You said. You said. Okay. okay let me ask. He volunteered. It. Okay, you volunteered. Now you came here legally. You did everything you have to do, right? I, was I thank you for that. I thank you for that. Why should we let everybody that comes here illegally and make them U.S. citizens? Then let the whole world come here. Don't worry about it. That's not fair. You did it the right way, and then we reward the people that did it the wrong way. You ever think of it that way? Joe Arpaio has plenty of supporters. I love you. <laughs> Thank you. And they're not all white Republicans. I've been voting since I was 18, and I vote for you every year. Well, thank you, ma'am. And you're the only Republican I've ever voted for. Even people who are Hispanic. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of Hispanic people that believe in him. But a lot of times, all you see is the ones that are against him. She gets a baseball card. I don't want to be egotistical, but... She personifies the large majority of people. During the lunch hour, it never stops. It's everywhere I go, I, I, I go. But do you people. like it? I mean, is it, is it yeah. kind of... You know you why I like it? Why? Because they, I work for them. John, just like you, it gets tiresome sometimes. I am a private person. You are. Yeah. That's exactly yeah. right. People but, don't know that. They think you're like oh, this all no, the time. I, I can't go anywhere. I can't take my wife to movies anymore. Or everybody. I'm a little... When I go to the mall, I don't like people 
But I, I deal with them. I sign their autographs. I get pictures. Somebody's here going to come up and ask for my picture. One, two, three. <laughs> he has undercover security, but he's completely accessible to the public. And the deadly shooting in Tucson won't change it. Any one of these guys could come up here and pop me. You do know that. In fact, I got to thank you for bravery just sitting next to me. I'm not overreacting. I'm not going to tell you all the threats I'm getting from Mexico. I mean, but you see me worried about it? He's cultivated a John Wayne-like persona, but few truly know him. And I don't really associate uh, with people, including my own staff. I do my job. I go home and see my best friend of 53 years, which happens to be Ava. So when you say who's my friends in politics or anything, I really, you know, I respect a lot of them, I guess, but I don't really have any close friends. So as public as you are in your job, you're a very private guy. No, yeah. believe it or not. I'm on number 14 with hamburger as on the taco instead of shredded beef. In every encounter with the public, illegal immigration is sure to come up. I mean, I wouldn't like... Door pilot to come to my employment and ask me for my papers when I know that I'm here legal. You know, I mean, I, I'm pretty sure that there is a, a different way to address the issue. And do you feel frightened that you might get stopped just because you're brown skin? Uh, no, it just makes me mad. You know, that's all. But. I mean, I know that I'm here legally. Now, if he goes out and he breaks the law, we're going to find out if he's here illegally or not. But we're not. I'm not going to ask him now. He hasn't done anything. All he did, all he did was get a picture with me. Am I going to ask him if he's here illegally? If he's had a picture with me? No. <laughs> Oh, uh, thank you very much. Both plates are hot, so that be careful, great. okay? And here's that 14 for you. Should I eat this without eat? Can I switch no, it? No, we're good. I'm looked at differently on the TV. Then people come to me, geez, you're different. You're different in person. You're a nice guy. But I am a nice guy, I think. By the way, you paying for this bill? Yes, I am. Make sure you get a senior citizen hey. discount, because I do, <laughs> I do qualify. He wants to see my papers. Arpaio turns 79 in June. And yes, he's running for sheriff again. We going out? Yep. Okay. You full? Yeah, this is great. Okay, good. Thank you. A few more handshakes outside. We did. Arpaio piles into the car, and he's gone. By the way, i got to thank the people at Wands. Great food, terrific people. After our lunch, Arpaio spent three hours meeting with federal investigators from the Justice Department. As its investigation into Arpaio's department continues, and Arpaio seems unfazed by it all, telling me he's not worried because there's, quote, nothing there. Get MyFoxPhoenix.com on your iPhone free at the App Store and stay connected.